hello everyone this is Russell Lowe speaking and uh, this is a tutorial on how to create a level in the new uh, free CryEngine 3 uh, SDK. Uh, first thing you need to do is go to crydev.net and uh, sign up and, uh, and then log in. Uh, then you can download the uh, free SDK, click on that button and then you can click on this one here and it'll download it. I've already done that. Uh, and I've saved it to a folder on my C drive uh, program files x86 electronic arts and crytech uh, I saved the zip file and then I right clicked on it and said extract to a folder of the same name which you can see here it takes about five minutes to do that which is why I haven't done it uh, during this presentation um, the next thing you want to do is uh, rename this to uh, arch1101 underscore and your last name uh, that keeps it nice and neat and you can now unzip this again and create a new one uh, later on if you want to uh, you might have to create the electronic arts and crytech folder uh, if you haven't actually had any other uh, electronic arts games or something uh, it's good it's a good idea to use this um, file structure because it works well when we use um, uh, play up and sketch up to uh, bring models in later on uh, double click on that open up the bin 64 what I do is uh, right click on this and say send to desktop to create a shortcut so I don't have to go fishing around in all these folders um, I won't do that now I'll just double click on the editor exe and open it up in a couple of seconds uh, it'll ask us to log in which is why you needed to sign up at uh, crydev.net um, so log in, this is an online process so you do need to be online when you're uh, uh, logging in or saving uh, so go file uh, new and I'm going to call this arch1101 underscore low uh, underscore demo uh, 02 because I did one for practice just before. Uh, change the height map resolution to 2048 by 2048. Put that down to 1. So that's going to give us a level of uh, just over 2 kilometers wide. The next thing it's going to do is ask us what project that we want to save it to or that it should be identified with. You need to choose global share so that other people can open up the uh, level uh, and take a look. And now we've created our uh, first level, not much to it at the moment, uh, really just a whole bunch of uh, water uh, and a terrain that's uh, underneath the water a little bit. Uh, so first thing we'll do is go into terrain and uh, edit terrain. And I want to um, set a couple of things up first very quickly, modify and uh, set water level. And I'm going to crank that up to uh, 56. Um, and you can see that now it's a bit harder to see the terrain under there and then go modify and set max height uh, it's currently at 1024 I'm going to drop that down to 256 makes it a bit more reasonable uh, and then I'm going to hit this button here generate terrain go OK and uh, that gives us a randomly generated terrain to start off with um, you can see it's uh, covered in this tile texture and uh, there's not much to it at the moment. Um, I'm using the um, WASD keys to move around and I'm using the right mouse button to uh, control where my view is. Uh, I go control G and that will drop me into the world um, and I can walk around. So in the next tutorial I'll show you how to um, uh, modify the terrain and texture it. Uh, put some grass on it and, and put some trees on it and things like that um, and also have a look at the uh, uh, the time of day effects um, I hit escape to get out of that one go file and save it'll say um, what project do you want to uh, uh, identify the project with and just go global share again go OK and you're done so the next tutorial like I say I'll show you how to do those things cheers